Welcome, everybody, to RimWorld. I've tried to do this intro about five times, and I've, I've messed it up every single time. So I'm just going to say, look at my rice. Look, my friends, upon this rice, the finest rice you're ever going to see in RimWorld, because yesterday on the Steam Workshop, the Vanilla Expanded uh, author released a new mod called Vanilla Textures Expanded, which... Funnily enough, adds a whole new bunch of super high fidelity, super high quality textures to the game. Uh, I think they say something like twice the size of the regular textures. Obviously not twice as big, but twice its, uh, twice its resolution, then scale back down. Don't worry about it too much. Uh, the point is, it is a massive retexturing of the base game items. So everything looks super, super. You can sort of see the differences between the things like gold, obviously, fairly obviously. More subtle things, things like machine pistols are just slightly higher quality there. Is that jade? Wow. Okay, um, again, things like shotguns are obviously very, very obviously quite different there. But it is a very, very nice mod, especially in combination with the Camera Plus mod, which we're using right now, of course, to be able to zoom right in on things. Look at that duck and tell me that isn't the good. That looks better than a real-life duck, I'll be honest with you. Now, along with that, I've also installed two other mods as well that have been recently updated. One of which is the Pawn Target Fix mod, which I actually complained about yesterday. Why do they not shoot the person closest to them? Well, this mod fixes that so that they will aim at whoever is. If there's a guy with a mace chasing them down, they won't shoot at the guy 40 meters behind him who's who's running at them with a knife or something like that. Now... Oh, another mod as well. Hang on. We've also got the damage indicator mod, which just shows when you shoot things. Um, I'm just about to shoot something, and I will show you. Uh, get roasted. Is that my chicken? Hang on. It's my chicken. Okay, let's not shoot the chicken. Let's come over here. Blast that wall. So when we shoot things now, it'll actually show damage uh, indicators for how much you do. And it can kind of give you a bit more of an indication to how effective a weapon is, how good the DPS with things are without relying on something like the weapons tab. Oh, and all the icons. Oh, that's, that's probably the most obvious thing down at the bottom there. Those have all been redone as well, so those look very, very nice. Anyway, just a little feature. Again, I'm not going to add anything that adds anything new to the game, just things that change what is already there and try and perfect what we've already got going on in RimWorld. Speaking of which, we need to change all of their jobs because everybody was incredibly, um, incredibly bored with absolutely nothing to do yesterday. Speaking of which, why have we got no meals? Penguin, uh, excuse me, could, sorry, could you cook some meals, friend? I was just about to say, a low food, and then we've got, like, no acceptable food, minor break risk times two, and there's also no food in the freezer. Oh, seriously? God, I hate this game. What do you mean? Oh, is he sad? Let me guess. Hang on. I can probably predict this, because he's hungry. Ravenously hungry. Hilarious. You have, you have a fantastic sense of humor here. Okay, who's got the next best cooking skill? Rib? Oh, ribs. Okay. Binging on Psychite. <laughs> Never mind. Um, LeBlanc. LeBlanc, please cook me some meals. Oh my god, I was just about to say, I thought that said that he was about to go, oh, what is this speech from a throne? Omega is giving a speech. If all goes well, listeners will feel inspired. They would gain respect for Omega. If he goes poorly, it would do social damage. The outcome depends on Omega's social abilities. 17.29. Wow. Um, yeah, do it. So that's going to make these guys like her a bit more by the looks of it? Okay. Uh, do we get... Hopefully, it'll give us a notification about the result of what's actually going on here. Uh, starvation. There we are. Encouraging speech. Because the speech was interrupted after 87% complete, it wasn't as as, uh, as effective. What did that do, though? What's the point? Who was she speaking to? Maybe they got a mood out loud or something like that. I assume it was you two. Needs? Um, gorgeous environment. Yep. <laughs> I can see why you think that. Uh, encouraging speech gives plus four. Oh, okay. That, that's pretty cool. I'm going to somewhat readjust these meal settings. That might be why we're going so hungry so quickly. So I'm changing it to out of 40 rather than just out of whatever we were at before. Um, I know you're not the best cook, actually, to avoid even the most food poisoning. Is Penguin back? Penguin's back. Hey, there we are. Okay, never mind then. Right, let's take you off of cooking as well. What was this skill? 6 out of 20. We do have a risk of food poisoning there, but it shouldn't be too much of a big deal. I want to change some drug priorities today as well because there was a really good comment that uh, explained... When we should prioritize taking certain drugs, what drugs are worth prioritizing, and how to avoid addiction. Apparently, if we take Psychite sensibly, the Psychite T, it can only give benefits with a very, very tiny chance of addiction. So, obviously, yesterday I said there's like a 4% chance um, per day to get addicted to it, but obviously that depends on your scheduling. Apparently, there's a lot of other factors that tie into it as well. Um, there's there's three hidden stats associated with addiction. I won't go too much into the, into the inside baseball of it. But with some proper scheduling here, we can get some really, really effective drug loadouts without risking anything, essentially. Obviously, a very, very, very minor chance of things going wrong, which, with this many people over however long we're going to be playing, there's a chance. But it's it's such a small chance for such a massive bonus that we've got to take it. So the second we can, I want to start producing some Psychite tea. How do you make Psychite tea? Uh, dr drugs lab? I don't think I've ever... 
I genuinely think I I don't think I've ever built a legitimate drugs lab or a drugs lab for any reason in Rimworld. I don't think we've ever done it. Oh god, this workroom's getting a little bit small, isn't it? Um, we might have to start moving into the stockpile, but the whole reason we built this was to avoid exactly that. Maybe we can remove some of these stone cutting tables, or maybe the uh, maybe the smeltery could go in here because that's not affected by um, that's not affected by work cabinets anyway, is it? So let's move this into here, and don't forget we're also keeping some slag up in here as well. So let's get that shifted. Rib, how are you doing? You've been on mental break for a very long time. And what are our priorities set up to right now? Full recreation. That's fine, seeing as everyone was in a real shitty mood. Probably something to do with the fact they were starving to death, but that's uh, that should solve itself. Now, how are we doing cleaning as well? Do we have a dedicated cleaner? We've got Penguin, who's going to be cooking quite a lot, to be honest with you. We've also got Trev. Trev... Can you tidy this base up? Because honestly, it's just a complete shit show. We absolutely have to solve power today as well, because this is driving me a little bit mad. So we did get Geothermal Jenny, so let's put one down there. We need... Oh, it's only components we need, really. How much steel have we got then? Um, Steel is heavier than feathers. What? I, I could have sworn that said we only needed steel. Hang on a second. Uh, Yes. Oh, the icons change. Uh, my god, I saw that and I thought it was stone bricks. Okay, that's going to get a little confusing, I will admit. Because the ingots look exactly like the stone blocks. I, I wish they'd have kind of flipped them so they were facing the alternate direction. Or something like that so that it looked a bit more... On the map, they're obviously just like a single brick there. Um, yeah, that's going to get horribly confusing. That's fine, though. So we need just a bunch more components then. And how, how much was it per? It's five per, isn't it? Oh, eight. Okay. Um, have we got anything sort of half built that I could cancel? What are you making right there? Components. Okay, that's fine. Um, flat pants. Do those require components? Can cancel some flat pants, I guess. They do. Honestly, I feel like the power... Oh, you don't get the component refunded. Uh, um, I think the power is much more important than... Than... <laughs> especially given that we barely got enough power to make the components right now. I think that's more important than a pair of trousers for someone. The thing as well that's a lot confusing, the heavy SMG now looks like the old assault rifle looked. So that's going to take a little bit of adjustment. I'm sure the assault rifles, again, look different. So when you're used to this, it will be a lot more apparent there. Um, what other weapons have we got that we could potentially swap out here? I think I'll swap your bolt action out for a machine pistol. That's better. I could do one of those really cool... I want to get one of those cool melee weapons again today as well. The plasma swords. In fact, can we even make our own towards the... Um, Cataphract armor, molecular, blah, 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 blah. Brain wiring. Compact weaponry. Is that it? Oh, no, no. That's... uh. Okay, that's more implants. Maybe you can't craft the plasma swords, the Zeus Warhammers, anything like that. Um, I can't see it on the list. Please correct me if I'm wrong here. Yeah, let, let me know if you can actually craft those. I'd be kind of interested to know if it's worth trying to save up for something like that. Try and get something good, rather than buying it from a spaceship, which is obviously a massive waste of resources. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Oh, no. Oh, good, yeah. I swear to God, if there's a mortar... If there's a mortar, you're about to watch me actually burst a blood vessel. Oh, that's just a bunch of... Oh, God, that's just a bunch of mechanoids. Um, fine. I, I I thought it was... I thought it said mech... Oh, does it say mech hive rather than mech cluster? Oh, <laughs> makes a lot of sense. Right, run. Where are they going? Oh, right, we blocked that off. Oh, he's a genius. <laughs> oh, and they say I'm bad at reward. I mean, I am, but, you know, I've got some foresight, so... Give me a bit of credit. That's that's fine, though. That works out pretty well. So those guys are going to take a very, very long time to get over here. Um, oh, look. They're also hugely staggered as well. So we're going to fight all the Lancers first. And then we'll be fighting the other guys after that. Right. Let's see what we can do. You need you need to get a bit closer, then. Come on. Oh, there we are. Look at the damage. Look at the damage. Get him, Chief. Okay. Move, move this way. Move this way. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's what we're after. Very nice. Very nice. Don't let him shoot. Oh, God. His shield's broken. Get out of there. Get him out of there. Run. Oh, God. Run, 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 run. Get him out of there. That was not worth it. Hide, hide, hide. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> well. Rib now becomes a squire. Oh, God. A ruffle shirt, a lady's hat, any powered armor, or any sidecaster apparel. Shit. What was he good at besides melee? Nothing. We haven't lost anything. Okay, he was good at crafting. But it's not that much of a problem. I thought you were a psychopath. Why do you care? Huh. Is that how that... Is that how that works? I thought psychopaths were completely unfeeling in RimWorld. Like, they didn't care at all about things like that happening. Well, I guess not. It, she's not actually that bothered. She's like, my husband died. But we did fuck twice before he died. So I'm good. Like, she's she's absolutely a okay. Nothing to worry about there. 
Rip, how are you feeling about your promotion? Um, want to subscribe? Oh, specific apparel, damn it. And probably needs a... No, needs a throne room as well. Oh, you're joking. Shit. Oh, God. Do you know how much work that's going to be to build another one of these friggin' throne rooms? They're such a pain in the ass. That also doesn't make any sense. Why would there be two throne rooms on a map? Ugh. Um, okay, I guess we'll turn this area into another throne room, assuming there's enough room here. Shit, that's awful. <laughs> I feel like you should never need two throne rooms. It just doesn't make any fucking sense. You think when, like, the Duke goes to visit the Queen? You think when the, the Duke of Cornwall turns up? He's like, yeah, I need a I need a throne room too, Liz. Come on, let's sort this out right now. Get work on the extension. That's ridiculous. Okay. Also, more to the point, don't forget that the, one of the endgame goals is... Uh, excuse me. One of the endgame goals is this. So they need another throne room as well then, right? So we'll need to build three fucking throne rooms if we want to... Oh, God, that's... I don't think there's going to be enough room on this map. I hate to say it. We're going to have to hollow out the mountain and build a bloody throne room in there. Right, these things should be fairly straightforward now then. Goodbye, my friend. We will give you a warrior's death. By which I mean, I'm going to give him a coffin somewhere and forget about it, I'm sure. Okay, good luck, team. We need to move our shotgun-wielding characters to the center a little bit more. So let's swap you two over. So they've got a slightly smaller radius of fire. Because they still can't hit from there, huh? It might even be better to build, like, uh, embrasures or even some sort of, sort of uh, door trap into here. With automated doors so that we can pop out, shoot some shots up, and pop back in. Like, and I'll manually control them. Because this is too much distance. Like, th those guys are essentially standing there being bullet shields right now. Anyway, let's get this out of the way. I'm pretty sure we've probably got this one in the bag, to be honest with you. Well, I'll be honest. I prefer that to a mech cluster. Even if it was... I mean, thank God we built this door here. Otherwise, they'd have absolutely got the drop on this there. And then we'd have been in shit's town. Okay. Um, yikes. That's, is that our first death this campaign, though? I feel like it is. Wow. Okay, fine. Jacob. Gone but not forgotten. Omega is now widowed. And we have to build a friggin' throne room for Rib. Rib, of course, being one of our first characters. Maybe kind of deserves it more than Jacob did, to be honest with you. That's incredibly frustrating. It's just the amount of room that we're going to have to waste on the map now is, is insane. Um, we'll build a proper tomb. We'll build a proper tomb so they can visit them for the recreation points. Um, where do I want to put that? I'll put it over here. Somewhere. Uh, how many marble blocks we got? Like somewhere over here. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, yeah, that actually works really well. Okay. On the plus side, though, I asked for components, and the game delivered. So I really can't be too mad. Um, will that give us enough to finish off the mechanoids, then? Let's get you wake up. Sorry, I know your husband got murdered horribly, but you do have, like, the nicest bedroom and the nicest gear out of everyone. So, uh, just kind of deal with it. You know, suck it up a little bit. She's absolutely fine. She's really not bothered at all. She's actually almost as upset about being hungry as she is about her husband dying, which is... Classic Rimworld, really. It just doesn't make any fucking sense. Right, so hopefully this was here with our power issues for the immediate future. How are we looking, then? Um, Credexus is still not fantastic. To be fair, the wind turbines aren't running super well. Let's see when they drop right down. Yeah, only minus 102. So that's okay. That's really not too bad at all, to be honest. That's almost powering the entire grid by itself. That's fine. And if we get another one of those... Oh, oh my god. I thought it was Omega already. Trev and Yoko. Who'd have seen it coming? Useless Yoko and Mortary Trev. The useless couple together till the end. Well, we do have a couple's bedroom there. So Trev and Yoko. Wow, what a what a combo of shit that relationship is. Good God, please do not have kids. Because I'm not sure this colony can handle the absolute cacophony of mistakes and shit that that child will be throwing at us. I've already got enough on my plate without having to babysit that mess. Okay, let's get this in the center of the throne room. And all things are well again. Oh, I've, I've put the other throne out here. Um... Which will give to Rib. There you are. Undignified throne room. What the hell are you talking about? 1.9 days until the requirement begins. Oh, they just put a delay on that. Oh, thank you. Tynan heard all my complaining. Much appreciated. Okay. Fine. Let's get some bridges down. Ooh. Um, should do that. Is that big enough? I'm sure that's big enough for a throne room. Whatever. That'll do. Although we basically said to Rib, if you want a throne room, you can build it. You got the himself. There we are. Okay, that's fine. Doesn't really suit nobility, but... Hey, does anything that we've got going on right now, really? What else do you need? Throw not oh, you've, you've actually found apparel that you are happy with. Really? Isn't there a lady? Is that all we need? A pigskin lady hat. I couldn't think of anything more royal than a pigskin hat for our, our... What are you again? You're like a dame or something? An esquire? What are you again? Um, Yeah, esquire. No royal favor either. So, actually, does that mean... 
we can call the Royal Aid again. Does that reset the Royal Aid counter? You kind of assume it would. That's quite a hefty pace to, uh, price to pay, was what I am about to say before these guys raided. Hello. Are they going to use sappers? Nine people. Okay. That seems relatively safe. Um, although they are, they are very consistent raids now, aren't they? Just back to back to back. Okay. We barely even had like a day there to cool down. This is more aggressive right now than wave based level. Oh, just going to dig straight through. Into the tomb. Have you no respect? Respect in this. Okay, let's get our shotgun characters right, right over onto this side. I think that could be quite funny. LeBlanc, join us. Yeah, join us. Join, join us. Join us in the tomb. Yoko, you get out of the way there. Oh, you poor fool. This is going to be quite interesting. Blow him away. Absolutely blow him away. Very nice. Did they just shoot an arrow? What a dick. Don't shoot arrows at us. My God, that was a that was a massacre. Good God. Two headshots from an LMG. And they're just shrugging it off. I guess it was those cloth beanies, huh? Fantastic work. <laughs> what a raid. Holy shit. We annihilated them. Unfortunately, now we do have to patch this up as soon as possible. And unfortunately, as well, it encourages the enemies to attack it because it's something we've built, which is going to be kind of a penny us. Um, you can get captured, actually. Let's capture you so that we can uh, we can sell you off. Done. Are we good? Oh, shit. We also got Rose. Wow, that was convenient. Um, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Good medical. Hang on. That means... We can install the Psychic Silencer, and we can upgrade Omega massively with the Psychic Abilities. I know some people were saying that the that the Psychic Implants, I saw a comment that said the Psychic Implants are intended for Jacob. And I get that, don't worry. I, I kind of get that that's the whole point of them. But I wanted to install it in Omega because, of course, we spent all that silver getting that... Uh, Getting that psychic power for Omega that we then found out that we couldn't use. So the whole reason I wanted to install it into her was so that we could use it. Otherwise, it's kind of a waste of silver, really. Kind of a bit of a sunk cost there. Um, cool. So in theory, now, we should be able to... Should, being the operative word. Install a psychic silencer in Omega relatively safely. Again, relatively safely. Is, is I'm, I'm being very careful with my, with my words here. We do have plenty of regular medicine, though. All right, Rose, give it a go. Gonna put on some clothes. That's fine. Fair enough. Get get yourself well equipped. Gonna go and rest. I want Rose at her best. Bearing in mind she's operating on our most important character's brain. Now Rose also has that psychotic addiction, so we've got to be very careful that she doesn't fall back into that. We want this withdrawal to go kind of smoothly. We could stick her in a crypto sleep casket, right? We could get her to do this operation, then chuck her in the casket for the next however long it will take. Do they? Does that still tick down while they're in there? Actually, might. We might want to do that. I should just reduce resistance realistically until... That was a hard thing to say. Wow. I should have reduced resistance realistically until Rose's uh, reclusive withdrawals... Okay, whatever. Um, wore off. Yeah, and it's basically until that shit was gone. Ooh, I like that. That's pretty good. Hang on. I'm just messing around with the new strip mining tool. I'll show you guys that. Uh, let's just quickly drop that one. So look at this. We've got this uh, strip mining tool. Lays out mine orders in a grid to maximize the chance of finding hidden ores. It's actually a really, really nice system. I really like the little overlay grid they've done for it as well there. So we could strip mine all of this stuff out. Bear in mind if we do that. Uh, oh, you can also change the spacing. Oh, that's really cool. That's actually a really nice mod. Um, bear in mind if we do this, we are running the risk of more insects. So we've we've, we've obviously closed up the old mine shaft there. I'm alright doing it, but I think we probably need to... How do we want to do this? Maybe put it somewhere a bit further away from the base. Obviously, it's going to take longer to haul this stuff back. But I think that's probably safer rather than running the risk of... No, no, no. Okay, yeah, you're fine though. You can you can actually accept that. Oh, there is an option to toggle that window off. I don't know if you guys noticed that very briefly. Um, let's do something like, do something like that then. That's fine. Um, yeah, that's okay. Boom. Hey, that's nice. I like that. I think that's added. Is that added by the allow tool? We haven't got the show mod designators on right now, so I'm not entirely sure which mod is adding that. But that's really really convenient. Please, please, just do it. Just pull it off. <laughs> oh god, I hate it. Wait, is it not really dark? Hang on. Lit fifty percent. Oh god. You will be too if you fuck this up. <gasps> Easy. Nice. Nice work. Excellent. Done. Well, also, why is there a hole in the wall? Does anybody remember why I did that? Was that adding a second cooler? We're going to put that back. Cool. Okay, so Omega Psychic Silencer is in. A successful brain surgery all round. So do we want to then use all of our Psychic Amplifiers? We might as well put them all in because I think we're now completely safe to, to do that. Where, where are they? Psychic Amplifiers. Oh, there they are. We've got three of the fucking things. Wow. Um, upgrade. We can just do it. Look, it's not warning us anymore. Oh my god. She learned wall rays. Everybody was telling me that wall rays was one of the better psychic powers. 
Oh, I'm so excited to try that one out. Okay, well, keep doing it then. What, how, how high can we get a psychic ability? I assume five is the limit. It's not. It's not. Look at what we've been given. What do half of these do? She's vomiting everywhere. Is that because of the brain surgery? Is that because of food poisoning? Is that because of what? Oh, anesthetic. That makes a lot of sense. Okay, what have we got then? So we've got... This, this is illegal. Requires prior sight. I don't care. Zero detection chance because, of course, we've got the psychic uh, thing. That's cool that it actually tells you that, though. Wall rays? Oh, my God. It just... I assume we can't mine them for resources. Obviously, would be a bit of a waste of time to do that. Oh, nice. Okay. Pretty happy with that. Um... What else we got here? Berserk. Uh, causing them to attack anyone nearby. So that's enemy raiders. Will that work on enemy raiders mid-raid? Or will they still attack our people? What I'm thinking where that might be useful is sieges specifically. Okay, cool. We got manhunter pulse. Driving by animals into a manhunting rage using a psychic pulse. That's also really cool. Wow, okay. I think we're going to start seeing some of the, the the really cool royalty stuff now. Bearing in mind, a lot of it is obviously the psychic stuff there. Nice, okay, good work. Run is not usable because of how it's set up. Must be placed into... Oh, did I set that area to not be roofed? Oh, okay. Fingers crossed that's all we actually need to do for this area now. Let's just go and... Again, you want a throne room. You build the roof yourself, you fool. Right, let's see if that actually ticks it off. Oh, nice, done. Okay, you know what? To say that we had to build a whole fresh throne room, that works out really, really well. We had the throne done already. We basically actually just wall this place over, obviously tile it up together too. I'm not going to upgrade rid beyond this. We don't want to make shitloads of throne rooms like this because it's absolutely going to waste all of the room, the, the small amount of room we've got left, especially when you consider we've got to build these bloody monuments as well if we're really looking for... Ooh. <gasps> ah, speech. Okay, can everybody attend that? Is that like a party? I guess it is like a party. Kind of answered our question there. How long does it last then? Uh, What are we looking at right now? Also, what the hell is this soundtrack? Um, so it's like midday. Let's see how long this takes. Probably about the same length as a party, isn't it? Um, okay, so two hours. Three hours. My god, a three-hour speech? Good lord. Encouraging speech. Uh, it was encouraging a while to live it. I assume that just gives the mood buff. That's actually really good. Uh, only gives four opinion, but actually that's not too bad at all. Once quite specific. Oh, so you still need a ruffle shirt. Okay, let's go and get you one of those churned out then, Chief. Blunk and Newt's marriage. I forgot that these two got together as well. Hey, look, it's saving us plenty of room on bedrooms at the end of the day, so I'm really not going to complain about this too much. Right, can I now celebrate the occasion? There was something I was supposed to do today and can't remember what it was. I said that we had like a task to do yesterday that I forgot about. Anyway, in terms of the research, I forgot to mention this. I have queued up precision rifling. Because I thought getting assault rifles, rather than giving everybody chain shotguns, which obviously have a horrible range issue, give everybody the assault rifles instead. Swap out the LMGs. They're far more accurate, even though they haven't got the same stopping power as the LMGs. Bear in mind a lot of the raiders that we've had to deal with have been very, very lightly armored. Unless we're planning on fighting the Empire with their horrible cataphract armor or something like that. The assault rifles are just going to be better in every scenario. And even then, the the assault rifles might be better just for the, for the actual accuracy bonuses. My god, these guys are on cloud nine, aren't they? Look at these moods. Maybe we should change tactic a little bit and go for... Why did you just all eat that in the... Oh, that might be my fault. In hindsight, that's probably my bad. <laughs> you fool. They're this happy and we, they've been working in a mine for the past two days? Holy shit, we must be doing something right here, to be honest with you. Something something must have gone pretty goddamn well if they are this happy, despite the fact they are obviously trapped in this mine. Why are you not researching? Have I accidentally... Why are they not researching? Uh, oh my god, I set mining to be a higher priority. Uh, why did I do that? Was it? Oh, it was when we were trying to build the... Uh, it was when we were trying to build the monument, right? I set that to the higher priority so we could actually get the stuff for it. Let's... Look, people who aren't going to mine, let's take them off of mining, because they could do to... I suppose where the house isn't getting tidied or anything. My god. What a fool. I was wondering why things are at such a weird order. So I also dropped down stone cutting as well. Let's drop mining down to like level three. I think that might even still be a little bit too high, but we'll see how it goes here. Um, right. Okay. Tomorrow I'll keep a close eye on them, see what they're up to. But that seems to have dealt with all of the job related issues. That's not going back into the mine. What are you good at then? Sir, 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 what are you doing? Oh, to be fair, you don't really have much else to do right now. Maybe clean. Maybe clean rather than mine. Actually really excited for when the next raid turns up so that we can test out these powers. I'm kind of hoping one will turn up before the end of the episode so that we can give it a go and really see how effective some of these abilities are. My question is, could we, say, hit this guy with Berserk, make him attack his friend, and then strip the winners? Trade caravans. Trade caravans. Type. Can we hit their animals with Manhunter? The Muffalos, for example, with, with Manhunter and, and rob their stuff? How does that work? Does it count as... It's got to count as a hostile action, right? Um... Driving animals into a man hunting. I don't know how that would work. 
We'll give that a go, maybe. Next time a trade caravan turns up, we'll see, we'll see how that works by turning the muffalos all very angry. Oh, you still only make smoke. How do you make psychite tea? Um. Oh, psychite refining. Bollocks. My bad. Wait, hang on. Even that's not it. That looks flaking. Yayo. Uh, okay, wake up makes wake up. Go juice makes go juice. That would make a lot of sense. Uh, is it like psych psychoid brewing? Ugh, I can't fire a cooking stuff. So that was kind of a waste of time a little bit building that, um, building that drug slab. It could come in handy eventually, though. Don't forget if we pick up some neutramine and some other stuff there, too. Damn it, I thought it was at a stove. What a fool. Okay, we'll get that cracked out very soon, and then we'll try and schedule some psychoid. See, that way, if I do it wrong, you guys can shout at me before we go into tomorrow's episode and they start dosing up on it. Aha, there we go. I was waiting for another one of these. Okay, what have we got then? Um, oh, thank God. My God, I thought it was inside the walls. What is that thing? Smoke spewer? What does a smoke spewer do? Uh, an ultra-tech weapon of mass destruction designed for area denial. By harvesting available compounds, convert them into self-reproducing -re opaque molecules. They can spew enough smoke to block out the sun. Oh, so it's like, I guess it's almost like a volcanic winter in a way. That would make a lot of sense. Um, well, that's kind of cool, I guess. And we've got a psychic drone as well. Oh, that's fantastic. Giant smoke cloud. It's, it's cover I, I guess it is like a volcanic winter then. Or is it just like a permanent eclipse even, perhaps? Okay. Um, I mean, look, it is it is 5, 6 a.m. right now. So there's only a couple of ciphers. There's an auto inferno turret. There's an auto charge turret. There is obviously the mechanoid assembler. This isn't difficult. This is really not difficult at all. The countdown activator. So why don't we wait for that to, to, to actually... Actually, do we even want to wait for it? We could just shell the shit out of it, surely. Have we got any more mortar shells? I have I have limited the production of more shells. Someone said yesterday in the comment section, limit the amount of shells we're producing. So I've limited us down to, what, five EMP shells, five explosive shells as well. Let's get you to churn out some of those, and let's just see if we can shell the hell out of this thing. Save waiting the, the two and whatever days it is going to be for them to wake up naturally. Decision rifling is done, unfortunately. Right on Q Omega has also... Start having a mental breakdown. Okay, good. Uh, have we got any other good characters of crafting? Oh, man. Jacob was a bigger loss than I realized. I was going to say, he was kind of a mediocre craft. He had, like, what, eight crafting skill? Which is nothing special. However, it is very special when your next highest skill is four. Okay. Um, How many shells did we make? Three? Well, obviously, we've got the, the mod that makes it so more suffered by intellectual rather than shooting. So, we'll wait for Omega to stop being a shit. Um, actually, our mood should be a lot better now, shouldn't it? Let's get you working on the machining table as well, then. The catharsis is going to kick in, so she should be good for a while. Let's get you on the turret. Let's get new on these turrets. And let's see if we can do some serious damage here. Um, new, where are you, my friend? It's cool that we're seeing more. I, I wonder how many mechanoid things are actually added to this, then. It seems a staggering amount of extra stuff. Like, the second I think we've seen it all, there's, like, obviously the smoke one that we've not seen before. I, I imagine there's also probably one for toxic fallout, too. But there's probably one for every incident, isn't there, realistically? Right, new, where are you, friend? Taking his time by the looks of it. Um, can I get you to hold fire a second? Hold fire. Let's, let's fire these off simultaneously. Try and do as most damage as possible in one go. Oh. Oh, that's convenient. Okay. Um, let's wake him up. Is that is that fine now? That means you're not... Oh, that means you are holding fire. Let's wake him up. Hold fire a little bit more. Wait for these guys to get a bit closer. And now. Let's try and wake him up as those guys walk past. Okay, go ahead. Set force target on that. Go. Oh, he might have done it. He's ascended. The Rimworld genius. He's actually done it as intended. Oh, look at it go. He's done it. Okay, right, right, right. Everybody move into position. I want to test out some of these psychic powers as well. Okay, go team. Oh, God. We have started a massacre over there. Fantastic news for us. Smoke Spear has been destroyed. Tell me that didn't work perfectly. Their, their pack animals are on fire. So we might be looking at a lot of good stuff for us as well. Oh, this is some good shit, brother. Oh, their animals are leaving. That's a shame. But we did a pretty good job. Okay. Scythe is coming in. That's not going to last two seconds. Fantastic work. Sounds like something else is on fire now. I'm kind of hoping they'll do us a massive favor and take out those charge turrets. Yes. Good work. Good work. Oh, Stella, you are an incredible person. Come on. I'm going to leave our guys squatted up just in case this thing causes us some issues. 0 0.3 days. I'm kind of hoping they'll have... Oh, nice work. Just the Inferno turret now. Should we just send our people... Uh, you know, just go home. Honestly, I think we're good. I think we'll leave it down to these guys to deal with. Oh, they dealt with everything but the bloody... You fools. Okay. They dealt with everything but the pipeman assembly. Have we got anyone nearby? LeBlanc, how are you doing? You're pretty good for mood. Come over here with your chain shotgun then. Let's blow this thing up. We've got 0 0.2 days. It shouldn't take him that long to get out here. Yeah, go, go. Hurry. 0 0.2 days. Just get into position and then start blasting. 
Go, Chief. Kill it dead. Oh, God, he's on a time limit here. Come on. Nice. Hey, look at that. Wow, that was a that was a pretty easy mechanoid cluster. Granted, we did scum that up massively, but that was actually perfect timing there. Um, we should probably also rescue Stella. Try and get some good opinion with those guys as well. What a horrible thing to do. Intentionally shell mechanoids to wake them up and then try and gain opinion with the people we just intentionally blow up. Absolutely fantastic. And the psychic drone is ending too, right on cue. Wow, that was so good. That was incredible. But unfortunately, we didn't get to see our psychic powers, but that was uh, really nicely handled there. Holy shit. And how's Stella doing? You all right? Nose has been shot off, but besides that, there's a minor infection, which shouldn't really be an issue at all. 8% immunity already. We've only just tended to it. She's good. Wow, that was great. I I'm genuinely actually kind of impressed by that. I'm interested to see what other... I like that idea of the mechanoids. I've been very critical of this DLC so far. I will fully admit that. I, I can't wait to see what other things are added with the mechanoid clusters. I think that's a really cool idea, having them be on the map as this permanent issue that you can choose to deal with immediately, or you can leave it and prepare yourself a bit more, but obviously suffer the consequences of, say, a psychic droner, or then blocking out the sun, etc., etc. The mortars I don't like, because they obviously adjust that balance. Then it just becomes a siege. It just becomes another siege, rather than... It doesn't, it doesn't feel like a mechanoid cluster. It feels like something we've just seen plenty of times before in Rimworld, if that makes sense. But that was that was really cool. That was that was quite a fun little... Uh, Quite a fun little change on the regular raid format. Let's get all this stuff decommissioned, then. Let's get these components hauled as soon as possible. Um, it's wide taming. C great, thank you. Can we get that? The advanced component is the important thing here, and everyone seems to ignore it. There we are. Um, we'll also borrow that SMG, by which I mean that's ours now. Thank you for your donation. But damn, look at the components. Wow. Okay, fantastic. Um, let's cancel the chain shotgun. And let's go ahead and make ourselves... The AMP lo launchers look incredible in this uh, vanilla retexture pack, don't they? Those are really, really cool. Let's make some assault rifles then. Seven components. Ooh. That's expensive. Holy shit. Um, <laughs> how much have we got? We've got enough for like one or two of those? Yikes. Um, that's another unfinished component. That's unfinished chain shotgun. Cancel that. We'll get the components back from it instead. Um, wow. I want to make at least... I, I mean, we can make three of them, right? 20. Se oh, seven times. Oh, that's clearly not right. We're still need another bloody component, damn it. Next on the research list, then, we'll go back to advanced fabrication and see if we can knock that out at some stage. But I'm going to get Omega to try and finish these assault rifles first so that we can get ourselves a bit more well-equipped. Again, get rid of these machine pistols. They're the top priority to replace. And then we'll try and replace the LMGs as well. Um, speaking of which, actually, we just got that better gun, didn't we? Trev. Actually, Rose doesn't have a weapon. Rose, come grab this one. No. Wow, it's still... Where is that spawning in? Oh, up in the mine. Yikes, this is exactly why I said... Shit. Okay. Um, to be honest, we've got some distance on them, though, which is quite nice. Rose is dazed. Whatever. Whatever. Quest active. We'll check that out in a second. Let's just deal with this very quickly. I'm going to send Omega up front. Because that way, worst case scenario, we can stick up a wall. Come on. All we need to do is aggro them. That'll do. That'll do it. That'll do it. Excellent work. Pull back. Bear in mind, we can stick up a wall, like I said, and sort of block it off. If we... Where, where's the wall res distance? Oh, it's bloody massive. Wow. So if things are getting out of hand, we could just stick one there. Oh, can she not? Oh, well, we stick one there then, and then we can maybe try and stem the tide a little bit. Speaking of which, let's do it. Bear with bear with me here. Do it now. Nice. Oh, fantastic. That was actually perfect timing on that. Please take him down. Bring him down, Legolas. Holy shit, that was close. Yikes, they got a little bit too close for comfort there. We do have a Mega Spider to deal with, but that's okay. Perfect timing on the wall, though. Holy shit, that works so, so well. They are going to dig through that in no time at all. But it's going to give us a bit more of a staggering effect on them there. Um, what does Chaos Skip do? Random position near where they started. Oh, cool. Okay, a mass Chaos Skip, I assume, is obviously all of them again. Fantastic. Um, Manhunter, I mean, it's a little bit irrelevant there. There are three, don't forget, three of those Mega Spiders. Let's go ahead and Chaos Skip the one that's closest right now back. That's not what that's supposed to do. Where he started? What, right there? Uh, I would like a refund, please, on my Chaos Skip abilities, because that is some bullshit. Oh, yikes. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, the Mega Spiders. Oh, they're bitey. Well, we should be fine. Just deal with it. We got flat jackets, right? Oh, God, this is horrible. There we go. Two left, two left, two left. They actually almost look... I think the insects almost look a little bit too clean with this texture pack. They look like they look too... The lines aren't quite bold enough or something like that. They, ju they just look way too clean. That's the only thing that I've seen that looks really out of place with this texture pack we're using. Nicely handles. I, th I think the wall play was pretty good. That could have been a lot better. Obviously, a bit more distance certainly wouldn't have hurt. But that wasn't bad. At least we got to see the wall in action. If it's not injured, so I'm actually going to send Ribbon to go smash the hives up rather than just letting them reproduce. 2.6 days. We've got plenty of time. Oh, they fire at them. Oh, thank you. 
Wow, they fire at them automatically now. That's a really, really nice minor quality of life feature that I'm actually really happy to see. And then we got Insect Jelly for days. We've been really, really raid heavy today. Like, it's been, what, we've had like three raids? Three, four raids? We had the cluster, we had the insects, we had the actual mechanoid raid proper, and then we had the people sapping. Yeah, we've had four raids today, which is quite a lot in such a short period of time. So the aggression is still there. I'm interested to see whether or not mechanoid clusters are rarer, though, because of the, the patch that they've actually issued to the game. Why don't we go ahead and call it there for today, then? It's going to be a little time before they rest up and they're ready back to fight and fit action. So I think now is the perfect time to leave it more than any. Thank you all for watching. Again, if you've got any hints and any advice with anything, I obviously wanted to get the psycho T done for today. Turns out I'm an idiot who doesn't know how the base game works. And that's kind of the whole point of the series, again, don't forget, is to reteach me the basics that we're going to have forgotten with all the mod luxuries that we've been playing with as of late. A big thank you to our insane top tier level patrons for making the channel possible in the first place. A shout out goes out to Rodin, Atmosis, Pelvis Presley, Scott, Ben Hoffman, Derek, Slippy Nips, The Potato Eater, Noble S, The Ector Fritz, Paul, Aromatic Fool, Harik, Chris, and everyone else over at the top tiers on Patreon as well. Thank you guys for going to that extreme level to make sure the channel survives. Unlike those insects, which that wall raise, I'm still pretty happy with that. That was, that was pretty good timing. Thank you as well to. Cam, Jessica Smith, Zulu, Gaz, Calron24, Organized Confusion, Matteo, Hated, Foosh, Wilson Atef, Monty, Bestmas Max, Udric Haddon, Jackson, and everyone else at Patreon as well. Big shout out to these guys. Thank you all for your support. Thank you at home for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow for insects and more mechanoids, which are basically just mechanical insects, which are just insects all around, really.